हेलो बच्चों लेट्स रीड आउट दिस क्वेश्चन एंड देन वी विल सॉल्व इट क्वेश्चन इज गिवन इफ एट ग्राम ऑफ नॉन इलेक्ट्रोलाइट सॉल्यूट इज डिजॉल्व इन 114 ग्राम ऑफ एन ऑक्टेन टू रिड्यूस इट्स वेपर प्रेशर टू 80 परसेंट द मोलर मास इन ग्राम पर मोल ऑफ द सोल्यूट इज एंड द मोलर मास ऑफ एन ऑक्टेन इज गिवेन वन ग्राम पर मोल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस द की कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन सो key concept of this question is relative lowering lowering in vapor pressure first of all we will note down the given things here here molecular weight of solute we have to calculate let assume it x and molar mass of n octane is 114 and given weight of n of 10 is 114 now we will use the expression of relative lowering in vapor pressure which says p not a minus pressure of solution divided by p not a is equals to mole fraction of solute which will be equal to nb on moles of solvent plus moles of solute that will be equal to weight of solute given by divided by molecular weight of solute upon weight of solvent divided by molecular weight of solvent plus weight of solute divided by molecular weight of solute here it is saying in in case of dilution and dilution in case of dilution this term will be get negligible so we can say that P not a minus P is divided by P not a is equals to weight of solute divided by molecular weight of solute into molecular weight of solvent divided by weight of solvent. Here. Initial vapor pressure was if hundred, then it will reduce to eighty, and it will hundred. On putting the values, weight of solute is given eight gram, and we have to calculate molecular weight of solute, and molecular weight of solvent is given one hundred and fourteen, which is an octane, and, and Given weight of n octane is also one hundred and fourteen. It will be get cancelled out from here. Molecular weight of solute will be eight multiplied by hundred divided by twenty. On solving, it will forty gram per mole. So. Molecular weight of solute will be 80 gram per 40 gram per mole. From the given options, option number D will be the correct answer. Thank you. I hope you understand it well.